Hey, welcome to this place. Uh, it's weird. It's, I haven't done one of these like what four weeks, five weeks. It's been a while. Um, uh, but anyway, welcome back. I'm tired. Um, I'm really tired actually. Uh, but we got some cool stuff going on. Um, a bunch of cool bands are releasing a bunch of shit. And, um, I actually have one of the bands that's already been on here again, like I usually like to do. Um, and we like got technology working so much fucking faster this time. Um, and actually I probably was the one who fucked up more. I fell asleep like right before I came here. So I woke up like all discombobulated and go like, Oh, what the fuck am I doing? And then I realized I had to uh, come down here to do this. And yeah, it was late, real late. But, uh, anyway, uh, I got the sniff with me today. They got a new album out. We're going to talk about it. Hi, guys. Hey. How are you doing? What's up, dude? We're doing well. Good, good, good. We're doing um, well. New album. New album? Yes. Yep. Yes, new album. Hot off the, hot off the press. Yeah. Um, how's Justin? Is he is he better? He's getting there. He's That's, getting good. There. That's, yeah, good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, The album's great. <laughs> Hey, thanks. Thank thanks. you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I'm not the only one. I don't think streaming it on Apple Music because it's like the songs are fucking just moving up over the old ones. You know how they do that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 All your stuff, all your newer stuff's getting more popular than your old stuff. Oh, great! I think that's a good thing. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. Good to know. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, it's really solid, man. You guys did a good job. Thanks. Yeah, Andy we- Mathias made us sound awesome. Yeah. Catchy Studios and Steve Holtz at uh, Rackball. Rackball Records helped. Uh, he did all the drum tracking with Justin. It sounded awesome. We can't Dude, thank every, those yeah, two enough. Exactly. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, Justin was telling me on that one song. Uh, I think it was the Distance song where he had to come in on those drums because the track was messed up. Yep. Dude, that would have been hard as fuck. Yeah, Justin's an animal. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's really good. <laughs> oh, I got I got to shout out to John Tanish too for all of the. Uh, Artwork on the album. He and did the whole layout for the, the photo. For, yeah, the everything photo on the back. The photo on the back. Yeah, Jack and all Yeah. So did he come to your house and take a picture of your children? He actually did our family yeah. photos a couple of years ago too. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. pretty cool, man. He was the bass player in Top Dead Center, my old band back in the day. Did he? Did he say children or Chilton? Did you say Chilton. children or Chilton? Chilton. Oh, you said Chilton. Chilton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was like, hey, come take a picture of your Chilton. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not asking children. about your yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. What kind of yeah. weirdo <laughs> do I look like? That's that's old old dad that's oh, a whole dad thing, Jimmy. You, uh, oh, yeah. Old. Uh, yeah, people are going to be like, hashtag a molester now, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like what the hell, man? That's weird <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, it yeah, came out. Jimmy Menarchic. I want to share it, by the way. Yeah. I, I think I should make them. Yeah, Absolutely, one hundred percent. You should make yes. those. Yeah, I'll get it done. Um, thank you guys for that Bergamo. too, because dude, every like I'm getting just people hitting me up out of nowhere, and I don't even know them. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. That's That's good. Yeah, but thanks. Like it, it worked. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> so success. Yes. So you guys unfortunately had to cancel your CD release show because everybody in the fucking world is sick right now. Yes. Like literally everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it got moved yes, to when? Rescheduled. Yeah, rescheduled. January 29th. McGarvey's again? McGarvey's. Yes, yeah, so that's our home bar. We have to. We got to do it. We yeah, want to do just it. Makes sense. We want to do it, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the Flannels are going to play with us, which a bunch of guys we were really good friends with, and the Wallys, which are also really good friends of ours. So Yeah, so. Is, it, is Eddie the barber, does he cut hair? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Those guys, we've known them for quite a while. For a they're, long time, they're yeah. Awesome. yeah. They've been around really a while, haven't they? So, yeah, we're really looking forward to the 29th. Everybody being healthy. Hopefully the curve's going to start dropping yeah, a little dude, bit. I yeah, hope so. Yeah, so. Well, even John was saying last night, trying to find bands to, like, replace that other thing, you guys, like, everything had to drop off, but everybody's I'm, sick. I'm on that group chat, and it's insane because, like, there's yeah. probably been... 15 bands named in the last 24 hours and not a single one of them doesn't have somebody that can't do it or is sick. It's it's nuts. Well, like I've worked in that restaurant part-time and I bet you three quarters of the staff's out with it now. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I've gotten lucky so far. Yeah. It's stupid, man. I just got over my second time. We had it over second. Second. Yeah. We had it last year over Christmas, my whole house. And then this year over new year's, but it wasn't nearly as bad this time. Yeah. But it still sucks. 
I mean, I'll be honest with you, like, just, just to having a cold pisses me off. So, <laughs> yeah. same, same here, dude. I just hate not being able to function. Yeah. yeah. My wife like a, always yeah, says about the man flu, and she's right. Like, I hate it. Yeah. I, just, I'm like, hide I die out cover. too. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. So. But I don't have a wife yeah. a bitch, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> It's just me on my own, and then like I don't want to do anything at all. I can't run at the full sixty-seven percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So you had to cancel some shows, but you got a bunch of them coming up, right? Yeah, we've got ton. so we have many ton. shows coming up. Yeah. Do you want to get the list out, Mike? The list on my phone, and we're, oh. we're using my phone. Do you phone. have the phone? I have this. Do you have the list? Is it in there? Here, I got it. <laughs> the list's in there. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> I got it. Jimmy? Oh, Frank we got we got a close up of your finger. That was weird. <laughs> oh, buddy, don't act like that's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be the last either. We call that Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, West York in uh that didn't happen. But McGarvey's for the record release show, Flannels and the Wallies. Then uh two uh two days in a row, Friday and Saturday in Ohio. It's called our it's called the Snip. 2022 Ohio World Tour. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing two dates in Ohio. Yeah. That's Columbus fit. On the what a... 18th? Columbus on the 18th. <laughs> and Cincinnati on the 19th. Yeah, with the Plan B's too, which is freaking awesome. Those guys yeah. are awesome. We dude, really that, like these a lot. Dude, yeah. that EP is fucking to, sick. Yeah. Their new EP is awesome. Yeah. Yes. I listened to it yesterday. But they're they're coming to Altoona for our next show then, the end of February, yeah. and them and Bad Luck Lover Boys. And then we have two in March, uh, Arts Altoona on the 18th of March, and then the Pie Shop in D.C. Yeah, on yeah. the 19th. That's going to be a cool one. That's with Blank 77, the Jasons. Like, there's some good bands on that yeah. one. Yeah. Chupa Scabra. Chupa Scabra. What'd you, what, what'd you say before that one, Frank? The It's February 26th at McGarvey's. It's Plan B's and Bad Luck Love. They're coming here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. doing two dates with them in Ohio, then they're coming to Altoona. Yep. Oh, that's that's right. They're Columbus. actually... Yeah, they're coming on this show the, next week. The Stoop in Columbus, and then we're playing uh, Wine City Brewing in, in Fairfield, which is like right a suburb of Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah, that's that one that Samantha works at, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. We're calling it a home and home series. That's my new my new thing. Like when, mm-hmm. when we trade shows with a band, if we play like in, in the NHL, a hockey team, like they'll play a home game in Buffalo, then a home game in Pittsburgh. I know so, how it works. Yeah, yeah. we're doing that with <laughs> bands now. Like, hey, hockey, hockey. Dude, I, what I think is neat <laughs> is like. Watching all you guys like come together and do the home and home and just getting together and playing shows in different cities, like it's it's fucking cool. You know why that is though? Why? Hashtag Jimmy Menard. I dude, I, I maybe a little bit, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool to see. Like I just I don't know. I meet people and then I bring like I don't know. We those people get together. It's cool. You bring people together. That's yeah. a hashtag Jimmy Menard. I try yeah. to. <laughs> what was the, what was it last night though? Hashtag Jimmy Menard. Just took it a little too far. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, man, I told you, I just got back from the dispensary, and I was just like, I, was, I, right off, I, I just glanced all over that stuff, and I saw Justin was sick, and I was just like, pussy, and I started laughing really hard. Yeah. And then I was like, well, nobody thought that was funny. I'm like, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> well, you know. I know, I know. Right. I'm like a bunch of dads. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, uh, we're not done with the list. Hang on. We got more. We got more. That's uh, great. Then... We have April 1st, and it is not an April Fool's joke. Us opening for Richie Ramone at McGarvey's uh, with Exodus for Oz. And then the next weekend, back at Porky's uh, with Coffee with Lines and somebody else we don't know yet. Holy shit. Uh, Going with us to that one? <laughs> yeah, dude, I wouldn't miss that. Awesome. <laughs> Hashtag uh, sitting in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> uh, always. Rod stick shift. Jimmy's riding the to Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> then we got uh, West York in. Hopefully, we'll play it this time uh, with Coffee with Lions, Wayward Brigade, and is that Paperback Tragedy? Yeah, yeah, Paperback okay. Tragedy. Yeah. Then back, and then it's the we're we're not playing in May. May doesn't work out for us. So June eighteenth, Father's Day show again, and uh, that's at McGarvey's, obviously. But then July thirtieth, we play oh, at the yeah. Curve, which will be cool. The, the Blair the County Ballpark. We're playing. Yeah, yeah, and none of our songs. None of our stuff. We're not playing any of our stuff. That's the only reason we're playing. Yeah. Because it's not our own You're covering Corey Feldman, aren't you? Yes. 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 I'm going to grow that hair thing out. And the little monkeys that ride on dogs. (laughs) Yes. 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 Cowboy hats on. No, we're we're doing a whole, it's a tribute show. So we're doing a whole set of The Clash. Really? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. another band, one of the like a local blues band from the area. They're going to do all ZZ Top songs. Yeah, so there's a lot of different bands playing this all day thing. We so. thought the Clash. Yeah. Oh, so. uh, dude, I'm coming to that. Do I have to watch a baseball game to watch it? Uh, you uh, don't. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to have a game. Actually. I don't think. So. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Hopefully, they're going to have monkeys yeah. on dogs though. That would be Cowboy great. Ads. I don't care what they have as long as it's not nine innings of baseball. Oh yeah. come on! Dude, it's, so, it's so boring. I love baseball. <laughs> yeah, but it's so boring. Like hockey's cool because it doesn't stop. But baseball, it's like, uh, I get enough youth baseball. My oldest son is on, he's going to be on three teams this year. Dude, how so, the hell do I you like, even find time? That's what I do. I, I, I get it. But like, I know just my brother being in baseball back in the day and I play a little league, but like, holy fuck, man, it's all summer, all day, every day. Like, yeah, that's just a lot of work for a parent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking it's of the West again. I'm playing there. Yeah, yeah, I heard. What's up with that? Yeah. Uh, my cousin Vinny asked me from Loud Love if I'd fill in. So we're changing the name to uh, Cousin Vinny and the Two Utes. Excuse me, youths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he asked me to fill in, and I'm like, fucking yeah, man. It's, it's with uh, Coffee with Lions and who else? Somebody else. Oh, uh, Working Class Stiffs. Oh, nice. awesome. Nice. Yeah. A good yeah. time. Yeah, when man. When was the last time that you uh? When was the last time you you played out? Oh, it would have been when that the country, country band. band and the Huntington Legion, in 2018. <laughs> nice, nice. The Huntington Legion's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever play there? I probably did. I didn't. I don't know. We may have in the overtones. Yeah, they got like a we... cool stage, but like it's like a big hallway type thing. It's not real wide, or it's just a you know what I mean. The, yeah, but the stage is nice itself, but it folds out. But after that, eh. I bet you there's a lot of nice belt buckles in there. <laughs> yeah, and and a ton of teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jaws full of them. <laughs> that tooth. <laughs> tooth. Tons of tooth. Yeah. Um. So you guys, what day did the uh, album come out? Was it the eighth? Yes. Yes. Okay, and you can stream that wherever. Correct. It's yeah. available on all major streaming platforms and uh it's available to purchase on our Bandcamp and allegedly um, records and on the allegedly records website yeah if we if you're going to buy a digital copy i would prefer you bought it from Bandcamp because then we actually get more than like 0. 0.0003 cents per tune that's but just nuts just listen to it that's all we want you to do is listen yeah to we're, we're, we're trying, we're, you know, yeah we're really really proud of us are retiring over this one so (laughs) (laughs) we just want you all to hear it and like it well if you want to if you want to buy a copy come to the show and listen to us that way you can get a a full effect there you go unless you have tickets to another show that same night yeah 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 Yeah. Yeah. it's it's, it's like you needed rush order t-shirts and your guy's just like you know what i'll do it but then he just doesn't yeah (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) hashtag Jimmy Menard. <laughs> I know. But speaking of the t-shirts, you guys have a new logo too, and it's badass. Yeah. Sad. 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 This the guy's man. idea though. That was that was but, an awesome idea. We just throw this guy ideas and he knocks it out of the park every yeah, every, single time. Yep, every Outdoor time. mayhem on, on uh Instagram fat. He's he does phenomenal work. If you if you look at our Instagram, you'll see his stuff. Hit him up because he any any logo we have, basically he's done. Like yep, we, he has we've done with an idea and he's just yeah, because your guys. Vert I, I game basically is good. was like, we want to, we want a dad core pentagram, and like two emails later, he's like, what do you want on it? And we were like, I was like a wrench, a, you know, whatever, think of some stuff. But he came back with what he did, and it was like, that's it, that's exactly what we had. The hot rod lawnmower, he did that one too. Yeah. I just was like, I want a lawnmower that's like a hot rod, like all cool, and he come up with that. I still show people that grill, and yeah. everyone still loves the grill. Yeah, that's yeah. that's, that's, that's the awesome. grill. Yeah, so if anybody's looking for work. It needs done. Talk to Thad. The dude's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of, did you get those aprons? Yeah, got them today. Today That's it was supposed to be Monday. It was supposed to be last week. Yeah, wow. It was supposed to be last Thursday, and I just got them today in the mail. I got the other aprons, so I'll get them to you. Okay, are they the same ones? Point. Same exact ones. Or the same exact thing. Yes. That way, because I know you have uh, special ink or whatever you needed for that. I wasn't going to do something. 
No, yeah. I don't even have to resize an image or nothing. Then that's what, that's no. the nicest part. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nothing. You know, shouldn't have to do nothing. Just green and done. I, I can't believe how many of those aprons are out there in circulation. Yeah, there's a bunch. We're down to one. Crazy. Well, dude, there's how many of those freaking out of country, right? How many of those lawnmower T-shirts are out there in circulation, dude? dude that lawnmower shirt. Yeah. There's, there's a lot. There's a ton. Because we keep we, every time it's, I feel always felt bad for Jimmy's every time we would he would bring me shirts. We just order more. I just order more. <laughs> just today, that's not a bad thing. I picked shirts up on Saturday. And I'm like, dude, we need another shirt. All right. Well, now we have another logo. You have to make those. Two. But he's not complaining because it's like, you know, yeah. Yeah. And I said, don't get rid of that freaking lawnmower, man, because it's going to sell forever. Well, yeah. you need more options, too. I think it's good to have people like, I want this one or I want that one. So if there's options there, that's great. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And I don't think the like option. a bunch of dads are going to wear that pentagram, but like the, the lawnmower, like my dad even wears that thing. Yeah. 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 And there's a lot of options as far as colors go, too. If you want black, with white on it, we got you covered. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Every time. You know what was crazy? Is I, I, I ended up just uh, getting a bunch of those military green shirts, and I saw that you guys used to have those. Yeah. Well, we could do those, too. Yeah. That's a cool color. That's a cool color with the black logo. That They sold out faster than anything we did was the army green with the black logo on it. I think people I have, like, ten larges if you want them. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, we will take them. Yeah. One you want me to just print them up, then? Well, maybe the new one. Maybe the new logo. Maybe we'll the talk new about logo. That. We'll talk yeah, about okay. That. I'll get it later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just... I'm, I'm We're just, getting into the weeds. We're making quick. deals now, too. We're yeah. making deals. In the... <laughs> yeah. He's just bullshitting with our friend Jimmy. That's what we're doing <laughs> that's right that's now. What, that's <laughs> what I do on this show, man. There's no that's weeds right. on this that's show because you can <laughs> talk about whatever. Yeah. Cross the price Camera guy's probably like, Jesus Christ, would they shut up so I can get home? He's heard he's heard a lot boring your conversations, believe me. The time I was on... Boring is a word. Uh, I don't think it is a word, is it? I think now it is. It is now. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag boring. boring. Holy mm. shit. It sounds like we an tell we're dads because we're way behind on the hashtag shit. We're just now getting into that stuff. Like, yeah. We're like, like, what, six years behind? Yeah. 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 Right now, right? Boring, Boringer is like uh, Behringer's sister company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they make like really, they make like really like not loud amps at all. It's they're really boring. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. 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 They only See, go up to six. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't do the eleven at all. No. no. no, no, no. <laughs> um, it's kind of rad to see that. I don't know. You guys are booked the whole way up to what July? That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Every available weekend. Actually, we're still actively trying to book June fourth. Yeah. But we're talking to some guys uh, about setting something up that day. So I think we'll pretty soon we'll probably have something there, and then we're we're getting ready to book some home stuff. But we're going to bring some of these bands in to visit Altoona and be and enchanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like yeah, drains no, I mean, and garbage. <laughs> and an RC <laughs> track now. Pop. That's the one nice thing. And you can put up trains and garbage when you got a great car. Yeah, and the too. RC track. You're right across the street. Oh, yeah. Still about, there. Yeah, it's still far It's down. so cool. Yeah. I know, dude. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Like, the guy's kind of a douche about not letting people park there, but. I've often thought about grabbing like one of my kids' RC cars, so I'm like bringing it down, ripping around a little bit. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, first night I saw cool the road down. Yeah, that track is awesome. Yeah, but he is a douche. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, what did that used to be? It used to be a furniture. No, it wasn't a furniture store. That was yeah. Wolf. Was it Wolf's? It was, I think it was Park had. Yeah, Park had across from there too. I think, I think yeah. it was Park for a long time. I think long, you're right. For, and then yeah it was parked for a long time as that's why like the flower shop the flower shop that's right there like you can park in that parking lot rich has a thing with them they're fine with it so it's just that little parking lot right directly across the big and then, you know when you come to a snip show you got to get there early because there's not a lot of parking available. that's true right and plus you guys are in bed by like 9 30 right yeah well that's the main reason yeah it's just a lot of traffic from downtown people still at work yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's oh, to do with us playing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's the lunch rush. It's the lunch rush. <laughs> yeah. Well, is yeah. there anything guys, else you guys want to get out there? Well, just uh, biggest thing was thanking everybody. And um, listen to the damn album. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody just listen to the album. Yeah. yeah. I've album. been telling everybody about it. I've been playing it at work. It's just whatever I got to do. Awesome. awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I have a tendency to like stuff, kind of stuff like at people down people's throats and they hate it. But then they're like, oh man, this isn't bad. And I'm like. 
<laughs> Told you. you beat them into submission. I like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> After the 11th time, you do, do you start to like it or you really start to hate yourself? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for coming back on. And I want to thank you guys oh, for course. doing really well with technology this time. You did a little better this time. My kids helped. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I felt when Frank messaged me and I was like, oh my God, I feel like an ass. Like, how's this happening again? <laughs> now we're good. Yeah. It went right. smooth. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I look Thank forward you. to seeing you guys soon. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Sooner than later. Not and 29th, uh, Not on the 29th. Please. Not on the 29th, but before that. Because I'll have to drop we stuff off to you. No, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Let's play before that. Yeah, see what yeah, I did there? I confused yeah. all of you. Yeah, we were Hey, there's always away. snappies in Bald Eagle. We can always say hi there. There is, man. That's that's like the new drop-off. I'm like, they're going to think I'm a drug drop-off. dealer. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, boxes of T-shirts. Yeah, I know. That used to be my stop whenever I did it, like the crowbar. Mm-hmm. That's oh, it was always just stop at Snappies on the way through. Where were you coming from? After the show. What's that? Where were you going to the crowbar from? That was your stop. Well, no, that's, not, that's, Snappies, yeah. that's Snappies. Oh, you guys come from. It. Well, back in the day, there we was had, no to, we had to go highway. through Port Matilda. We're older. We yeah. had to go through Port Matilda. Yeah, to go through the Port. Yeah, yeah, 99 didn't go up there. Yeah, you come out by the, the bank into Port Matilda. It was on the right. Yeah. Yep. 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 We had to ride the dock. And then if you made the right, you went up to Bill oh, Filer. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the dock. The dock's, yeah. the dock's yeah. in the road, you had to ride the dock. Remember Bill Filer, Audible Images was out that way. Yeah, it was out that way, too. That yeah. place was awesome. Yeah, well, I just, I dropped out over the hill from Phillipsburg, so I never, you know what I mean? That was just two opposite directions for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I used Clems to go to the crowbar. Crow yeah, Clems was there, too. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Cle- oh, because that Clems rolled. That Clems rolled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was like the OG Clems, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah, man. I think it was so. Right. Right. It was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, isn't that one on the way to Pittsburgh, like the original, original? Yeah. But then, okay. Oh, is it? By Dean. Yep. Yeah. Is that By the original Dean's. one? Yeah. I was, yeah. I, I don't know. I've just stopped there. It's bigger now. Times. You know what? I think we need to have another episode in a couple weeks. We're going to figure out the Clems lore. Listen, <laughs> I want to go on that trip with you. Let's go to Clems. Yeah, there you go. We're yeah, re- yeah, you we'll know what? You're right. God yeah. damn it. We'll stop at Clems. Will we? Yeah. No, 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 no. You know what? No, we're going to eat a Porky's. We're going to eat a Porky's. What are we talking about? Shit. Porky's is, that's my, that food looks so. Yeah, yeah, what's my new favorite bar? There? Because there's nowhere to sit. I know what is eat there. I found a seat just <laughs> fine. Awesome. Yeah, Porky's is awesome. I think next time we play Porky's, we're gonna leave a lot earlier so we can go and like actually sit and eat. Yeah, and... sit and eat. I, I found Enjoy a seat that. just fine. I don't know what you guys were doing. We were hauling our shit, <laughs> hauling shit setting and up our merch. Playing. And... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and alcohol. So. Pissing in the enormous urinal. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I told you you could like take up residency in that fucking thing. I actually got in it and sat down for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the Roland Theater in Phillipsburg is the only other place I've ever seen those kind of urinals, man. And like I said, you can move. It. It's like a four-bedroom apartment. Yeah. yeah. Well, the old Jaffa I used to have that before they renovated it back in the day, back years and years and years in the seventies. That's when they were all these huge urinals like that. Yeah. With a big yeah. mint in the bottom. Yeah, like, yeah. I, thought that was I thought they were showers. I thought it was an iron lung at the first. At first, you know what I mean. I thought it was like pure <laughs> polio. I was like, holy shit, man! Yeah. <laughs> They're huge. Oh yeah, but no, that bar is awesome. I oh, uh, yeah. Well, and, I the, and the destroyers rule. Those guys are all. All awesome. those guys are really yeah. awesome people. It was really fun to meet all those guys. Yeah, so yeah. I like going out. They're just they're really positive, man. Like yeah, I don't ever get negative shitty vibes from any of them. Like they're all just good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, good people. Good people. Yeah. But uh, like yourselves. Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, yeah, we'll talk. And uh, thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Yep. Later. Hey, Later. Hey, Until hey, next time. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And you heard the guys. Um, check out their album. It's on Allegedly Records. It's on Bandcamp. It's on. It's on all of it. So uh, do that. Um, it's called Tales from the Workbench. Um, it's a picture of Wax's Chilton, not his children. Um, I don't want to be mistaken for that because uh, that got weird real fast. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm probably going to go to sleep now because I'm exhausted. Um, anyway, until next time, buy the ticket, take the ride, or jump in with the snip and ride with them. Either way, we'll see you next time.